and welcome back to this channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here I post new videos Monday through Friday so make sure you subscribe because I would love to have you part of the YouTube family here I'm also on the other side of my kitchen because typically I filmed on that corner and now I'm on this side of the kitchen because today what I'm filming is a what's in my pantry so without further ado let's get started all right friends so this right here is everything from my first cabinet of the pantry so I'm gonna get into it and show you guys everything that I have I just figured this would be easier to show you guys what's in my cabinet instead of like trying to hold the camera and going in there and it's a tight corner and stuff like that so my first thing is some mug beans then I have a yellow split peas and I really enjoyed these in soups and just a really great source of uh, protein red lentils I really enjoy these as well they are really good to um, thicken up soups and curries then some sushi rice we typically go for brown rice but this is a little bit older <laughs> so it is sushi rice and I absolutely enjoy my sushi we have some red kidney beans which I'm a really big fan of these well they're great in fiber and protein and their texture is really nice as well some quinoa which is a staple for me which is really good in proteins compared to like beans or brown rice I like to switch it up and go for quinoa then in the front here I have two mason jars of tri-color popcorn and it's a great snack um, especially on the weekends when we're watching a movie and in the front here I have some seeds and nuts and things for my um, oatmeal and my um, smoothie bowls so first one right here is um, coconut flakes as well as some so these are coconut chips actually and these are coconut flakes so I really enjoy both of these and then some nutritional yeast which is a great source of vitamin B12 Brazil nuts which is a great source of selenium so you could take a couple of these throughout the week but what I mean is take like one on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, something like that. And just one nut per serving is all you need to get your source of selenium. Chia seeds, which is my all-time favorite to make chia puddings, put in smoothies, acai bowls. You could do so many great things with these. Make chia eggs for banana bread and things like that. Great source of omegas. Then some hemp seeds, great source of omegas 3s and 6s as well as protein. And then moving backwards, here we have some... Hey, hey! Alright, we just got a little bit interrupted by the dogs because they probably saw a squirrel or something. But right here we have some pumpkin seeds. I really enjoy these. These are raw, unsalted. Some cashews, which are great for our vegan um, nacho cheese. Almonds, they're a great staple to have as a vegan to make almond milk, to make um, crusts for pies and raw desserts. And then some canned goods. Here we have some black beans. We have lots of uh, black beans because I just get these at Costco. So we have a bunch of those. And then we have some coconut milk, which I really use these to put in our curries. But some time ago, I used to make parfaits with these as well. But I really enjoy these. And last but not least for this cabinet is some garbanzo beans. So look out for my recipe of my next one that is going to be a hummus recipe. But yeah, this is everything for the first cabinet. Now let's move on to the second one. I also completely forgot about my dates, which is one of my winter staples. And that's the last thing in the first cabinet. 
All right, so this is the second cabinet. It's a little bit more extensive and it has a lot more going on. So I think we will just start from the front and then move on backwards. So the first thing is these hazelnut coffee maca bars, which are my absolute favorite. And I actually have two and a half boxes of these. Banana chips, pretzels, walnuts, some flax crackers. I got these for my husband because he wanted some healthy crackers, but he in fact did not like these. Um, pancake mix. So this is pre-made pancake mix. All you have to do is just add some water to it. Then forbidden rice that I have yet to try, but I did purchase it because of course it was on sale, but I do have to try it out. I heard good things about it. So some broccoli cheddar uh, chips, garbanzo flour, almonds, which are great to make almond milk. Then these banana bites. I actually made a taste test on these and my first impressions, which were pretty good. They taste like banana bread. And then some hemp hearts. I actually have not one, but three bags of hemp hearts because they were on sale and when things go on sale, I need to get it. <laughs> Then this white chocolate macadamia cliff bar granola. I really enjoyed that. Some sprouted go raw pumpkin seeds. Coconut chips. Two packs of nori, which is great for my sushi. My husband's not that big on my sushi, but I love it and then some rice paper, which is a great to make my spring rolls with some um, chili sauce. Raisins and more raisins. I like to put raisins in my overnight oats to give it a little bit sweetener. And then over here is a superfood blend with quinoa flakes and maca, hemp, cacao, a lot of goodies in here. Some more quinoa. Some kale chips. And then almond flour crackers that my husband eats, though he doesn't really like them, so they're just kind of chilling in the pantry. Chia seeds. Almonds flour. Shredded coconut flakes. Maca powder, which maca powder is one of my favorites superfoods and it's really good at regulating hormones and for skin. And last but not least, one of my winter favorites this year is a red lentil panini pasta. So if you haven't seen my recipe for this, make sure you check it out. I'll link it down below. But yeah, this is the second um, cabinets and that's everything that's inside there. So that is everything that I have in my pantry behind me and the lovely mess of course that I made that I have yet to clean. But if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and what is one of your staples that you have in your pantry and you always have to have no matter what. Leave it down in the comments I would love to know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!